income is less than $10,000, then no tax update. Capital gains only come into play if it is a capital asset. One Bitcoin is worth $39,984.70 in U.S. dollars. Ask Roger. Hey guys, I'm Roger Herring. I'm The Investor's Accountant, and thank you for coming by our YouTube channel. Before you leave today, be sure you hit subscribe and click the bell. That way you won't miss any of our free educational videos. Hey guys, I'm Roger Herring. I am The Investor's Accountant, and welcome to another edition of Ask Roger. This is where you get to ask me a question about real estate, about taxes, about wealth, you name it, we're going to talk about it. Today's question comes through Facebook. It's from James. And James wants to know what exactly is a checkbook IRA? And is there also such a thing as a checkbook 401k? Well, guys, checkbook IRA is really kind of a misnomer. You see, what they're actually talking about is an IRA that owns an LLC and you have a checkbook for the LLC. So somebody just started calling it a checkbook IRA as a marketing tool. So let's go to the board and let me explain just how these things work. And short answer to the question, yes, you can do it with a 401k. You can do it with everything. Let's get over and start the broadcast and we'll kind of draw this out. All right, here we go. All right, first off, you can self-direct what? Anything. Any of your retirement plans. Your 401k, also known as a solo K. You can self-direct a SEP. You can do it with a raw IRA. You can do it with a Roth IRA. For that matter, guess what? You can also self-direct an HSA. That's right. You don't have to leave your HSA if you have a W-2 job and you have a high deductible insurance plan. Guess what? You can have an HSA and you can self-direct it. It doesn't have to be with your company. And if you have a Coverdale education account, those also can be self-directed. The problem, you can only put about $2,000 a year into the Coverdale and that's on purpose because Wall Street doesn't like us self-directing. They can't make any commissions off of that. So the checkbook IRA, the way it works is you have your IRA. And your IRA, or you create an LLC for your IRA. And your IRA funds that. On the other end, you have a checkbook. And you control how much money, how the money goes out. Now, there are some trustees that will not let you self-direct with an LLC. They'll let you self-direct, but you got to do it straight out of the IRA. And you know what? They fee you to death for doing that. So we use the LLC as a means of getting access to the money. All right. This way we can freely invest it. Now, the question was, can I do this with a 401k? Sure you can. A self-directed 401k or a solo k, depending on the situation, can also create an LLC. Well, you know what? Why don't we make this a multi-member LLC? Well, why do we want to do that, Roger? Because wouldn't we like to bring in our this is my solo K. Wouldn't we like to bring in our wife's solo K? How about the wife's IRA? How about my Roth? How about my son's Roth? How about my grandson's Roth? And then, of course, I've also could have my HSA involved in this, and I could have my Coverdale. So what I am showing you is you can create a multi-member LLC, and all of your self-directed plans can be members and fund this. 
So now instead of a little pile of money here and a little pile over there and then some more over yonder, guess what? You've got one great big pile of money that you're investing. It's all going in here. Now, should I let somebody, an outsider like my friend Joe's Ira or Michael wants to invest with us on the street? That's up to you. But what I would recommend is doing a partnership with them. Okay. Now, let's go invest the money. What are we going to invest in? Well, of course, we understand real estate because that's what we're all about. We also understand crypto. What else? Oh, we're going to loan some money. Well, Roger, I want to flip. No problem. You can do three flips a year. That's it. Okay? Because if you do more than that, you're going to trigger this thing called UBIT unrelated business income tax, and you're going to start paying taxes on the flips at trust rates, and trust rates are high. So the smart thing to do is only do three. If you're going to do more than that, then there's another strategy that we need to do, but we're not going to talk about that one today. It's called a blocker corporation. Look for a video in the future. So we go out and invest. We're done, right? Nope. We got some paperwork we have to file. We have to file a 1065 partnership return every year. Well, Roger, these are retirement plans. Yes, and for the most part, it's not going to go anywhere beyond that unless you borrowed money. Because there is a thing called UDFI, Unrelated Debt Financed Income. And UDFI, what happens with it if your IRA or your Roth borrows money? It triggers that, and you have to pay UDFI. Now, Roger, why would I want to uh, invest that way then? Well, you're still making a heck of a lot more return on investment than you ever would have on Wall Street, okay? So you know what? Suck up the UDFI, but only the IRA, the Roth IRAs, and the traditional IRAs have it. 401ks are exempt from that. So are HSAs and Coverdales, okay? So what form is filed after that? We have to file a 990T to pick up the UDFI. It's not a big deal, guys. It's simple. We do this stuff all the time. Now, a few things you should know. Do not try and just go set up an LLC on your own. All right. These are have specific operating agreements and there are specific things that need to be in there. I don't do these things. Let me refer you to someone that knows what they're doing. And let me flip back for a moment to a full screen here so you can see my smiling face. There we are. Guys, if you're going to self-direct, you've got to follow all the rules that are involved with retirement plans. Okay, there are prohibited transactions. You need to know what you're doing. You know what? You can read about it. Right here is the best book on that that I've ever seen. The Self-Directed IRA Handbook, second edition. It's by Matt Sorensen, who is an attorney, and he is the business partner of Mark Kohler, who I am a student of. Guys, if you want to read this book, there is a link right down below to Amazon, and you can purchase it right there. You'll have it in a couple of days, and you're in like Flynn. Hope you've enjoyed today, guys. It's been great being with you. Till the next time, Roger out.